Waterburger when two men with guns demand cash. This is a story we first broke this morning at 430. Yeah, some quick thinking employees help lead deputies right to the bad guys. Kathy Hernandez is live off of FM 1960 in Beaver Springs where the restaurant has since reopened. Kathy, good morning. Well, good morning. That restaurant is back open right now, but employees inside are still pretty worried after that robbery overnight. Thieves target fast food restaurants more often. Another one hit overnight, this time at Whataburger on FM 1960 in Beaver Springs. Deputies say a man and a teenager rushed inside and pointed guns at employees demanding money. Deputies say the two escaped with cash, but it had a tracking device inside. And using that tracker, a helicopter and a canine unit, deputies also arrested the two alleged robbers near Butte Creek. We caught video of the man outside the Whataburger in handcuffs. Just two months ago, two donut shops in Tombaugh were robbed on the same day, May 17th. In both, two men used guns to steal cash and get away. And a month before that, in the spring area, Precinct 4 deputies say a group robbed the Jack in the Box near I-45 and Cypress Wood Drive on April 17th. They arrested three men and a woman. Back here at the Waterburger, the manager says no customers were inside at the time and no employees were hurt during this robbery. The canine unit did actually bite the teenage suspect during that arrest. The tracking device inside the cache uh, was actually what helped lead deputies to those two suspects. We asked the manager here if that's procedure and standard in their restaurants, but he referred us to the corporate offices. We're putting live in Northwest Harris County, Kathy Hernandez. This KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you so much, Kathy. 634 new this morning. A man is in critical condition after slamming into the back of a stopped car near Baytown. The car was waiting for a train to cross at Maine and San Jacinto.